Hello! Ciao, buongiorno! Welcome to Rome! Siamo a Roma, mamma. Hang on, are you going to talk Italian the entire video? Si. <laughs> oh. Welcome to all the stations. Benvenuto a tutti le stazioni. <laughs> I have no idea if that's right. <laughs> So obviously we need to explain what's going on here, we'll do a bit of a full disclosure. To do that, I'm just going to wander down uh, into the meeting room area <laughs> of this train. <laughs> it feels like when, you, when you're in a James Bond movie and, and Blofeld has his... There's always a scene, isn't there, where like all, all, the, all the baddies are sat around a table. So I'm going to stroke my cat. <laughs> where are we? Siamo a Roma. Where are we headed to? <laughs> Uh, Florence, Florence. On what type of train? Tia Rossa. It's the Red Arrow. Yes, I think I pronounced it. It's the ultra high speed train uh, that runs the length of the country here yeah. in Italy. I'm being slightly mean to Vicky. We've we've got up the Google Translate app, and we just want to ask the simple question: How long is? Because the train, the train goes beyond Florence, but we're only going as far as Florence. So Vicky, we need to ask in Italian, how, how long is it going to take us to get to, 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 to are you good? Um, well, I've got it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, buongiorno. Uh, <laughs> quanto è lungo il viaggio a Friends? 96 minuti. <laughs> what do you say? Perfetto. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> About 90 minutes. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, we've hatched our evil plan in, 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 the, in the meeting room. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, our evil plan, we've decided that, that what our evil plan should be would be to assassinate Phil. Who remembers <laughs> Phil? Phil, you keep popping up in our videos. So wherever we go... You keep popping up on my press trips. <laughs> <laughs> so the HS2 trains, whoever gets to build them, do you think they'll just have standard and then a business slash first class? That's, they, from, from, they, my, from my reading of the specification, that's what, that's what it's going to be like. So the DFT still spec what the train Yeah, I mean, H, HS2 is a subsidiary of DFT and they've, they've written the spec, so part of, the, part of the thing about the HS2 spec is the interiors are supposed to be a Adaptable, so you can change them depending on what they're doing. So, okay. so obviously the trains could be doing London to Birmingham, which is a 40 minute journey on HS2. Okay. Or they could be doing London to Glasgow, which is going to be three hours plus. So clearly there's the requirements are different for those. But this is so that's part of what's the having a, an adaptable interior you can change later on is part of what's in the spec. But this is mightily impressive, isn't it? Did, oh yeah. Do these seats it's, recline? These seats, these like seats they recline. recline, they twist round. Oh man. Um, <laughs> I think I think it'll take most of the journey to Florence to understand how they work. So if if the executive class has um, a meeting room, then I'm curious to what their toilets are like. And most importantly, Jeff will be pleased about this. A very clear you are, you have locked the door button essentially. Vicky? Yes? It's time to demonstrate the chair. The chair. It's almost like, it's a bit like you're in Mastermind. <laughs> dun, 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 what does the chair do? Dun, dun, dun. My favourite thing about the chair is it has a magazine rack. And because, this is, because we live in a world of digital technology, that means I'm going to put my phone in the magazine rack. This is my reading implement. Um, but you can, oh hold on, so there's a light which goes on and off, so if you want a bit more reading light, it kind of curves around. It's like Mastermind, not like Banana. Um, then, uh, so you can, your feet going up. I'm not sure how far it goes. Oh, quite far. It is like a lazy boy. And then, hold on, the back goes down. Oh, 
Nexus 2 train is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be a complete game changer for the UK. They've never seen anything like it. We've come to Italy today to see this fantastic Fecherossa. The Italians have had this amazing train for the last few years. They understand how fantastic high-speed trains can be. This is a wonderful example of what can be done by our two companies, Bombardier and Attaché. And we're bidding for uh, to do something the same for the UK market, something fantastic that people haven't seen before. They're going to love it. So we've been invited um, here today by Hitachi, but actually also Bombardier are here. I'm not quite sure why, but this gentleman, Martin, hello Martin, hello. Um, can tell us why. So what, why, in some instances, is it beneficial to kind of partner up with somebody else? Right. That's a good, really good question. Um, when, with a, a project the magnitude of High Speed 2, there's obviously an awful lot of um, requirements, and so when you, as a, as, a, as a rolling stock provider, you look at those requirements and think, you know, can we do this best on our own, or are we better off to try and work with other companies that can bring something else to essentially enhance the overall offer? So it's a sum of the, a classic sum of the parts. Some of the whole should be better than the sum of the parts, and I think we've, we've looked at High Speed 2, um, we've looked at their specific requirements, we've seen that it's a good fit here, uh, and we thought, well, let's, let's, let's emulate the same um, and make it better. Yeah, we made it to Florence. Check the unit. Florence. 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 So we, uh, are you joining me for this? So yeah. we're off the train at Florence, we've jumped into uh, a little uh, shuttle, bus. shuttle bus. We've come to the Hitachi factory slash facility at Pistoia, am I saying it right? Si. Thanks. So here, just behind your head Vicky, oh you're in the way, look you can see one of, uh, one of their trains. And over here is a brand new class 800 IEP. I'm excited. <laughs> That'll be the new... Uh, <laughs> That's what LNAR are going to it's be running. It's all steam ahead. That's the new full steam ahead on the East Coast services. <laughs> Where are we going? I actually don't know. I'm just, <laughs> just following these people in Hitachi jackets. <laughs> large factories um, on the site. Um, there's certain things we're not allowed to, to film, uh, top secret, um, but the size of this facility is just incredible. Um, I think it's about 200 metres in length. They're having to extend it so they can fit in um, up to nine car trains. Um, all kinds of components get put together just on the factory line, one element on top of the next, on top of the next. There's a lot of people working here as well. There's a lot of hustle and bustle. So this table here with all the cables and wiring um, is replicating the underneath of the train. Um, so what the engineers are here doing are, are laying out um, all the cabling to test it out, try it out, make sure it all works. So you just toured the factory floor. I did. You saw many a train being built. I did. All the different components, the, the way that along the conveyor belt they put one piece next to the other, next to the other. It's very cool, the climate control area where they test uh, in extreme weather conditions if everything will, will hold up. It was Do very you, cool. Whilst you were doing that I was doing yep. a lot of research. An yep. extremely nerdy fact I found out Great. is that when the initial run of 800s were built, Yes. Uh, we have a video, you can watch that here, where vinyl stickers were applied to the outside yes, of the yes, 800. Yes, yes. Yep. But the 802s, which are being built, I'm quoting numbers now, uh, they're painted green here. And then what I was also doing while you were looking around the. Uh, yep. is that I, I, I've got a pencil sketch diagram here <laughs> of the difference between 800s, yes. 801s, 802s, and their five and nine car configurations. Can you summarise in one sentence? No, oh. but here is a 30 second. <laughs> Apologies if it's longer. Here's a 30 second <laughs> animated diagram of all the different configurations. For the new trains being delivered right now that Hitachi have built, it breaks down as follows. 
For GWR, there are 36 units which are bi-mode, diesel and electric, which are 5 cards in length and are numbered 800-001-036. 5 car trains can be doubled up to form 10 car trains. They also have 21 bi-mode trains that are 9 cars in length. Then, 22 5 car bi-mode units with longer range diesel tanks for the West of England routes and then 14 of those which are 9 car variants. For the East Coast, run by LNER, there are 13 9 car bi-mode trains numbered 800 101 to 113. There are then 10 5 car variants of this. And then there are the electric only versions of this train, 12 5 car units and then the bulk of the fleet, 30 9 car units numbered 801, 201 to 230. Hitachi are also producing 5 units for hull trains and 19 units for Trans Pennine Express services. So there we go, that's it, that's our time in, uh, in, in Italy. Thanks very much. This is, where, this is where. Uh, Ciao. <laughs> is that it? That's it. That's it. Ciao. Thanks, thanks Hitachi. Good morning! Ciao, buongiorno! Welcome to Rome! Siamo a Roma! Hang on, are you going to talk Italian for the entire video? Si? <laughs> Welcome to all the stations! Oh crap! Did you forget it? Yeah!